students that come to me all the time and say, Brian, we're solving equations. I don't know how to do it. After I teach them the steps, they're like, I get it now. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we do. The key thing I tell them to remember is to do the opposite. If you understand to do that, that's going to help you out. It's, it's just going to help you guys out so much, you won't even know. So, let's see. We have 4 plus x is equal to 18, right? Well, remember how I said opposite? Always remember that. Write that down if you have to. Opposite. Why? Because this variable right here, we want to get it by itself. In math terms, it's called isolating the variable. I just call it, he wants to be alone. He wants to be by himself. So 4 has to go to the other side, the equal side. The only way for 4 to do that is to do the opposite. So, if you remember from previous videos that when, not there, when there's not a sign there, it's represented as a positive. So, let me ask you a question. What's the opposite of a positive? Hmm, that's a negative, right? So we go ahead and put a negative 4. Now, the other thing that you remember have to remember is that what you do to one side, this would be one side, you have to do to the other. Well, what are sides you're asking? Sides are going to be split up by the equal sign. So, imagine if the equal sign just had a fence there, and one side of the fence was this part of the equation, the other side was this part of the equation. So, in order for it to get to that side, you have to do the opposite. So 4 minus 4 is 0, and that cancels it out. But what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So you go ahead and subtract 4 there. So now, it would be represented as x, and it's a positive x, right, is equal to what's 18 minus 4? That's 14. So x will equal 14. And we figured that out just by doing the opposite. See, it's a lot easier than trying to say, hmm, what do I have to add to 4 to get 18? Now you can just do one step, subtracting, and you can go ahead and figure that out. Let's go ahead and do this one now. We have k minus 9 is equal to 36. Huh, let's see. What did I tell you guys? What's the main word that we have to remember when solving equations? Opposite, right? Yes, you got it, right? So we have to do the opposite. And what's the other thing that we have to know? We want to make sure that k, or whatever variable, is by itself. Math terms, it's called isolating the variable. You might see that. It might say solve by isolating the variable. That just means get the variable by itself. So now we want to go ahead and add 9. Why did I add 9? Because it's a negative 9, or it's a minus 9, so the opposite of that would be plus 9. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And we'll go ahead and cancel that out. K will be brought down by itself now. And that'll equal 36 plus 9 is equal to 45. OK, great. So let me go ahead and ask you guys a question. You're taking a test or you're doing your homework, and you want to see if you got the answers right. There's one way that you can actually do that. How? We call it by checking, and what you do is you actually plug your answer back into the original equation. So let me go ahead and draw a line here to separate this equation. So the original equation was 4 plus x equals 18, right? Well, what we do is we want to go ahead and just plug our answer in for the variable. So now we would say 4 plus 14. 4 plus 14 is 18, and we bring down the 18, so now we know that 18 does indeed equal 18. So I go ahead and I write a check right on top of the equal sign, because that checks out. What about the other one? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and plug in 45 for k, so it would be 45 minus 9 equals 36. And if you want to go ahead and show your work, you'll see that 45 minus 9 actually equals 36. And 36 equals 36. Hey guys, and here's the cool thing. There's nothing wrong with doing this in math for your homework or your test. So if you want to make sure you got your test answers correct, just go ahead and plug in the variable that you solve for. You take that answer, plug it into the original equation, and you can find out. 